Joined by JMU's Kiki Jefferson, a uh, team high 23 points tonight in the win. And Kiki, talk about what went so well for you and your team. I just think we came out with a lot of energy and we knew how important this game was. And we just played JMU basketball. Questions? I, I guess I'll go first for you, Kiki. Um, you guys shot the ball really well tonight. Um, what, what do you think led to that kind of shooting performance from, from you, Peyton, tonight? You guys made 15 as a team. Uh, you know, why do you think you guys were able to shoot the ball so well tonight? Well, in practice, we worked on um, them coming in and packing the paint and then just dissing out. So uh, as for me and Peyton, we just um, had to be uh, had to have our feet ready and just not be able to knock it down when our teammates gave it to us. Just one more from me. You guys got out to a fast start up by 19 after the first quarter. Um, you know, what, what was the message like amongst your team to come out and start fast in this one? It seemed like you guys were ready to play from the tip. Um, just the mindset, it's survivor, go home, and we don't want to go home too uh, quick, and we don't want to go home at all without the uh, dub. So um, every game, we just had to come out and enthusiasm gives us eight points. Go ahead, Shane. Yeah, Kiki, um, you know, Coach O'Regan said he thought you might have been, like, a little bit tired towards the end of the regular season. Um, looked pretty fresh today. How much did having, you know, some days off here in between that Drexel series and the start of the tournament, how much did that kind of help you with your legs? Um, aside of basketball, I think the, my most thing was my confidence and just keeping my head right. And that's one thing Coach O just um, just kept uh, pounding into me. I went in his office more than I ever did the whole season just because I knew, like, I needed him. So he just kept um, instilling in me that I, I'm his go-to and, and the, the love he has for me and the whole team. So um, to, be, to be able to be the leader that he needs for this team, I have to keep my confidence up and just be able to uh, come out like that every game. All right. Thanks, Kiki. Thank you. Hey, Kiki. So two quick questions. So first off, did you guys have any nerves getting off the bus and getting into the tournament? Because I knew none of you guys had ever played a minute in a CAA game, especially because this is basically like one year ago today was the cancellation. So was right. there any nerves or anything like that heading into the start to today's games? Um, I wasn't nervous. I don't think any of us were nervous. I think we had um, uh, maybe we had a little bit of jitters about like um, what's going to happen. But no, nah, we were good. And then also uh, you and Peyton had a really um, explosive offensive performance scoring 20 points each, um, 20 plus points actually. How does that kind of um, boost your confidence as a first as a first time heading into the CIA tournament? And then also how do you think that's gonna help you guys heading into Drexel or Elon tomorrow? Um, that was good and all. Um, it was good for that game because it got us the dub, but uh, we have to brush it off our shoulders and just be able to either um, do it again tomorrow or do what we had to do to get the dub tomorrow. All right, thank you. Thank you. I just proud of the effort. I thought uh, I thought we came out ready to go, which is what I hoped for. And um, you know, sometimes I hate playing with a lead, but it, I think it's better to play with a lead than play from behind. And uh, I saw Kiki, Kiki's our the head of our the head of our snake, so to speak, and, and she came out with great energy uh, and got us going. And, and um, I thought she was phenomenal and led us. I thought Peyton was phenomenal, um, but I also thought I thought Jalen Caradon played as good of a game as I, I've seen her play. And, and her numbers are are modest. Uh, I mean, good eleven and seven, but defending Dublin, Dublin, Dublin's a big problem for us. Um, and, and I thought she did a, she did a fantastic job with her. Uh, so I'm, I'm pleased with the effort, but, you know, I really, and I'm not saying this arrogantly, I just didn't come here to win one. We're, you know, we on to the next very quickly, but I was, I was really proud of our, our balance and our effort tonight. First question, TJ, go ahead. Uh, yeah, coach, fast start tonight, up by 19 in the first quarter. I know obviously that deficit got cut into a little bit, but you guys really seemed like you controlled the game throughout. Um, how ready? I mean, it seemed like this team was ready. Why do you think this team was so ready to go from the tip tonight? Um, I wish I knew, but I'm gonna try to duplicate it, TJ. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't exactly know. I just. I think this team is um, in a place where we're coming together, and and you know, I don't know. We're we're approaching this whole thing in in, a, in with with joy. I think we're approaching this whole thing with love, and we're we're in this place where we're just we're just very confident with each other, and. You know, it's crazy. We're, we're doing this without Rain Tucker, who's third team all conference. But, um, you know, teams can play together and, and do things that that, you know, a group of individuals can. not And I, I think that's a little bit of what it is. Um, 
we're just, we're really, um, who was, who was I telling? I was telling somebody earlier, I just really like our vibe right now. And um, I hope we can continue that. I'm not going to praise him too much for the next 16 hours. Um, but I, I really hope we can continue this because um, that's tough to beat if you got a good vibe. And the only other one for me, shot 36 three-pointers today, made 15 of them. Um, is that the way you want to play? Was that just kind of the game flow? What did you think about your guys' shooting performance tonight? Well, um, was that 42%? If we shoot 42% from three, TJ, I'll shoot 73s. I really, I don't care. Um, but no, it wasn't, it wasn't, it's part of the game plan a little bit. You know, we had to talk to him uh, midway through, like, don't forget about the rim. You have to draw before you kick. Don't just put like the, the, the way Northeastern plays, they, they not give them to you, but they tempt you to take them, you know? And, um, I didn't want us falling prey to that, but we were making them. Um, so it's like, find the balance, find the balance. I thought Jamie also did a really good job getting to the rim still some, um, but you got to get them collapsed. I mean, they're, they're tough to play against. And, and what I worried about entering a tournament setting is like, you know, how many times have Kenny Brooks and I used to talk about this all the time. You go up to show place arena and it's, it's like cold rims up there. Um, and so I didn't know how we were going to do that, but Kiki got us started and, and Peyton, Peyton fueled us throughout. And so, um, you know, if we're going to shoot 42%, I'll shoot it. Every, I'll do I'll, 35 threes is fine with me, TJ. Go ahead, Shane. Yeah, Sean, I mean, you mentioned this the other day that, you know, part of the reason you had nobody who'd played in a tournament before was because Jalen didn't get off the bench a couple of years ago. And I mean, she even had some, you know, DMPs this year, like just to see her have this kind of performance late in the season now, like what does it say about her kind of a, uh, stick to itiveness and, you know, just her overall abilities. Yeah, I, I agree, Shane. Um, she, she, she's, she's at a point where she's earned everything she's got, you know, and, and same with Maddie Green, um, you know, and I, I really wanted them to value that. And uh, the two of them never stopped playing. And, and Jalen brings his value mainly on the defensive end, um, but she's getting more and more confident. Today is probably one of the first days I drew a play up for her. Um, and she's getting more and more confident. And, and I think, um, you know, that's as a player, that's part of your progression. I, w I wish, I wish in division one, there was more, more players that would sit their freshman year, right. Or maybe sit halfway through their sophomore year. And then they end up getting to be a junior and they're really good. And it's, it's such a tough, <laughs> just doesn't happen very often. And I'm, I'm really proud of her. And I'm proud of Maddie um, for, for sticking it through. Um, and Maddie obviously has some bigger moments than, than Jay has in her career, but um, I really don't think we win the game today without Jalen Caroline. As well as we shot from three, I thought she was crucial in, in a lot of aspects of the game. And, and talking about the three pointers, how much does it help? I mean, we've talked about the back to back aspects of the season for months now, but yeah. how much does it help that they've been through those games where, you know, maybe you only get 15 shots off tomorrow and you have to win it a different way? How much does it help that they've been through that already? Yeah, I think it's great. Um, you know, because uh, I don't expect. Yeah, I don't know what to expect. I don't know who we're playing yet, but um, you know, it's I want to be the team that that can beat you a lot of different ways, um, and I think we can. You know, I think it's really hard to penetrate into the paint on Northeastern. They, I mean, they're there, they're in front of you. Even if you pass, they fall down, and you. I mean, it's a most of the time it's a charge. So, um, I just I want to be able to go inside outside. I want to be able to get you from three. Now again, I don't know what what effects we're going to have, Shane, without rain. Um, you know, because that was kind of our inside presence. AD has done a fabulous job, but it's not 22 and 26 on back-to-back -back days. Fabulous job, you know, as far as the scoring aspect. So, um, you know, we'll see. But, you know, uh, you got to play games where you take what, what the, the defense gives you. And, and we, I thought we did that today. Um, but, man, like, <laughs> it, it was tough just, li just living with that please go in type of mentality right there. But, uh, no, I thought I – thought, um, it's a it's a fun way to play though. It's a fun way to play. All right. Thanks, Sean. Go ahead, man. Hey coach. So I have two quick questions for you. Uh, my first one, you kind of touched on this a little bit already, but there was a lot of offensive wealth. I mean, just sharing the wealth was like the name of the game today. Um, does that kind of does that really boost your confidence offensively? I mean, I know you mentioned that it's kind of this is a performance that although you everyone was shooting from the three, you'd like to see down low a little bit more. But does this this offensive power and for such a debut kind of like give you that confidence heading into tomorrow's game? Well, yeah, I, I think um, I think it's just our evolution as a team. And I do think it gives me confidence. And I, I don't think you can win a tournament without trusting each other. And 
So if, you know, they're going to double Kiki, Kiki's got to trust that when she gives it up, the next person is going to make the ne next right play, you know? Um, you know, and Tins comes in, she has five assists. I thought Jamia was pretty good, two assists. You know, we had 13 assists, which again, we're not a huge assist team, but um, <laughs> make 15 threes, you should, you should have some assists on there. But um, no, that's the way I want to play. It's, it's a high level trust in each other. And, and that's what I would like to do. Um, we can't always do that, but that's what I would like to do as a team, to share the ball and move and trust each other uh, and be able to hit you a lot of different ways. Awesome. And then my other question for you, although you guys don't have a confirmed opponent for tomorrow, are there anything that you want to fix with this team heading into tomorrow's game? I think the biggest challenge for us will be mental toughness and pushing through fatigue. Um, you know, we battled that all year long. Um, you know, I, we didn't, I thought our, the minute distribution um, was decent for me. I mean, Maddie almost plays 30, but everybody, I mean, Peyton, Peyton's 29. But it wasn't the 39 minutes, stuff like that. I mean, Stella Clark plays 40, by the way. Can I just shout her out? I think she's a wonderful competitor. I think that that kid is, that kid gives everything every night out. And I, I just, I think that kid is, I think she's, I don't, I think she's moving on. I think she's a senior, but um, <laughs> she gave me, she tormented me for four years. Um, but no, you know, for, for me, it's, um, it's going to be that. It's going to be the mental toughness part of, of knowing that you're not going to feel as good as you did today. You got to embrace the grind of this tournament. That's just it. All right. All right thanks, Coach. Thanks, Thank you, Maddie. Thanks, John. Thank you, guys. Yeah.